starting my trip here. I'm do the bottom part of the 100 mile wilderness. I'm starting about probably three miles before that because I never finished those three miles. We'll see how it goes. It is pretty rainy today. We will see how wet I get so far, so good. But I haven't even gone a mile. One mile in, uh, just taking a quick break. They say it's good to take a break early and often for when you're just starting out, so give it a try. There's just something really pretty about the forest when it's raining. It's nice. My watch just said exercise ring closed. I got news for you, Apple. It's gonna be more exercise than that. I think this is the top of Buck Hill. 1,400 feet, something like that. Pretty small one, but pretty. I like the fog in the distance. That's cool, over there. These mossy areas are always my favorite. I think I'm coming up on Route 15 here. Oh yeah, there it is. Must be over there, I think that the trail continues. Oh, I think this is the famous sign here. Oh yeah. Break number two. You can see there's a cool stream right there. Pretty fun. So far so good. Getting kind of muddy now. But the bottom of my feet are still dry. Yeah, pine needles. The bottoms of my feet are getting kind of damp now. And I forgot my sit pad at the last time I took a break. So it's like two miles behind me. Which kind of stinks. I was hoping to keep that. But um, it's not worth going back for. Going down rocks is kind of... Uh, Hard in the rain, but didn't slip this time. I stayed at a shelter for lunch there. I probably stayed there an hour. Kind of dried my feet out, changed socks. It was nice. Got to chit chat with a, a real Appalachian trail hiker. And the rain mostly stopped. I'm a sucker for these trails by lakes. Abandoned road. Oh, this looks cool. Waterfall. Look at that cool, like, jutting spike down there. Crazy. I just uh, got lost a little bit over by those falls. I thought you had to cross the stream, but you don't. Turns out. 15 minutes gone. There's a little uh, stream crossing. Let's see if I get myself too wet. Success! Back. I was able to keep my feet mostly dry. Nice little overlook here. This is the top of Big Wilson Cliffs. So far I think about six people have passed me. <laughs> I am very slow. Probably gonna be a little bit after dark when I get there, but I'm gonna make it. I got uh, two more miles to go. These rare straightaways, I gotta go as fast as I can. Yeah, I'll go across there for a big Wilson stream. Uh, we'll have to get wet. Yeah, I'm across there. Yeah, my feet are thoroughly wet now, and um, should be coming up on the shelter pretty soon. I probably won't video it since there's probably going to be a ton of people there. Hey, right, good night. Day two. That last night was a little rough. Had plenty of uh, rain through the through pretty much the whole night, but it stopped by the morning time. I slept okay, but had a lot of tossing and turning. It was pretty cold. 
There was a lot of people at the shelter, so I wound up pitching my tent. A lot of fun rocks on this part. Had some oatmeal, some cool ledges up here. Nice place to stop. Nice little stream crossing. Another waterfall. Cool mushroom. Climbing up Barren Mountain now. This is a couple thousand feet. So. This is quite a viewpoint. It's not even all the way up the mountain. It's like 45 degrees upwards here. Jeez. Made it to the top of Barren Mountain. It's not all that barren. There's a lot of scrub around, so you can't see as much. But still very cool. It's like a good time to have a snack and air out my feet. Hey, started raining again. All this part is super muddy too. All right, um, looks like I'll be staying at this cloud pond lean to. It's only like 4 p.m., but I'm tired of these boards. Not muddy, you know, it's a big cloud pond. I'm at the shelter here, I'm having a nice little sandwich with some sausage links and some flaming Hot Cheetos. I'm gonna stay over in the tent, but um, this is a good spot to eat. Nobody's here at the moment. Pretty nice. Can open Another rainy one today. I think I'll just do like six miles or so. Uh, call it good. We get taken out tomorrow. Cut it a little early. Cold. This is the trail right here. I think I'm gonna get my feet wet. 6.8 miles. What did I get myself into? This is supposed to be a viewpoint right here, but not much to see. There's the sign for the Peru hikers that have come all the way from the south. 2100 miles it would it be. Ah, this is nice when they put the boulders Right there, like stepping stones. The plants. Some kind of small crash plane right along the trail. I don't know, I don't know how that happened. It's mostly stopped raining at the moment. Still a lot of puddles though. A few leaves dropping. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, how do trees just stick out from the side of the walls like that? That's crazy different trails I could take, but I'm gonna keep going this way. It's annoying, but it is pretty. I'm diddly -um. Up the mountain, These enormous go. flat ones. I don't know how they did that. Third chair back mountain, I think. Covered boulders. We are at the top of Columbus Mountain. Must be in the clouds. Shareback Gap shelter now. Looking in here, you can see that a lot of that down is kind of damp and kind of clumped up, so it won't be quite as good to um, keep me warm. Oh well. Uh, start my last day here. You can see that little slightly drier spot where my tent was. Mostly didn't rain uh, last night after the first little bit. Just some drip drops from the trees. Chairback Mountain right here. It's the last mountain uh, that I'll do on this trip. But not much for views. You can see the clouds rolling by. It's clearing up a little bit. But I have to go down that. It's pretty steep. Time for some breakfast. I was right up on that mountain. Clearing up a little bit. Get some sun occasionally. This is a nice section. Not too bad. This little stream crossing here. I go up towards Gulf Haggis. Gulf Haggis. Trail seems a little bit nicer this part, you know, still got some mud. There's that junction with the Gulf Vegas trails. 
so I'll check that out. Nice waterfall there. I did have to cross this little stream to get there. Now I'm at home after a good day's sleep. It was a, you know, it was a pretty good hike, but I didn't like the weather that much. Right. See ya.